Hello, kids. My name is Jerry, and I'm a geologist. A geologist is a type of scientist. A scientist studies and learns all about the world in which we live. Geologists are scientists who study rocks and what's inside the earth. That's right, rocks. From pebbles to stones to boulders, from a grain of sand to the highest mountain, rocks are everywhere. And I want you to know all about rocks, from how they are created to how they are used in people's everyday lives. People used rocks to make the jewels on this crown. People use rocks to make buildings, walls, and streets. A sculptor carved a big rock to make the sculpture of Abraham Lincoln. Geologists use rocks to learn about the Earth. In the ancient Greek language, the word geo means Earth, and ology means the study of. When we combine these words, we have geology, or just geology, which is the study of the Earth. Since the Earth is mostly made of rock, we geologists spend most of our time studying rocks. Many of the rocks we see on the surface of the Earth, from mountains down to pebbles, are created by incredible forces at work deep inside the Earth. The surface of the Earth is the outside or top layer of the Earth. We walk and live on the surface of the Earth. Have you ever wondered about what's inside the Earth or under the surface where we walk and live? Geologists study not only rocks but also the forces at work inside the Earth and on the Earth's surface. We study the whole Earth. Some scientists believe the history of the Earth begins a little over four and a half billion years ago. That's a long time ago, a very, very, very long time ago. Before that, some scientists believe the materials that now make up Earth were orbiting or floating around our newly formed Sun. As billions of little bits and pieces, over many, many years, it is believed by some scientists that these floating bits and pieces gradually stuck together until they made up Earth, as well as its neighbor, the Moon, and the other planets. When it was newly formed, Earth was basically one big ball of hot, melted rocks. Over time, however, some of these materials cooled and hardened, allowing the planet Earth to become what it is today. Maybe you already know that Earth is a planet. Earth is one of eight major planets that orbits the Sun. Earth is the third planet from the Sun. Do you know the names of any of the other planets? I do. Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Like the other planets in the solar system, Earth is trapped in the gravitational pull of the Sun. This causes Earth to orbit or revolve around the Sun. It takes one year, about three hundred sixty-five days. For Earth to complete an orbit around the Sun, the Earth's orbit around the Sun is not the only way Earth moves in space. However, this map shows the Earth's north and south poles. There is a star marking the North Pole on this map, and a circle marking the South Pole. The North and South Poles are imaginary points at the northernmost. And southernmost parts of the Earth, the axis of rotation is like an imaginary line or stick going right through the Earth at the north and south poles. 
Here, the word stick means a long, thin piece of wood. There's not really a stick running through the earth around which it turns. The axis is an imaginary line around which earth rotates. The earth rotates or spins in the same way that a globe spins on its axis. It takes one day or 24 hours for earth to make a complete rotation. The map also shows the equator, an imaginary line around the middle of the earth. The word equator sounds like the word equal. We can remember that the equator cuts the earth into two equal halves. The equator divides the earth into two equal halves. The area along the equator receives the most direct sunlight and is therefore generally the warmest area on the surface of the earth. Earth is sphere shaped like a ball, and it is surrounded by a thick blanket of air called an atmosphere, where clouds float around. Most of the Earth's surface is covered with water in the form of the five oceans Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, Arctic, and Southern or Antarctic. And between these oceans, there is land in the form of seven continents. North America, South America, Europe, Africa, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. People haven't always known that the Earth is round or that it rotates on its axis as well as orbits the Sun. They haven't always known that there are five oceans and seven continents, or that most of the surface is covered in water. It has taken hundreds of years for scientists and explorers to develop all the knowledge about the Earth that I just described in the last few minutes. But this barely begins to scratch the surface of what we now know about the history of the Earth. This barely begins to scratch the surface is a phrase that people say when they mean that there is so much more left to learn about something. There is a lot left to learn about Earth. There are three important words you need to keep in mind whenever you are thinking about geology, which is the study of the Earth. Heat is the first. You can feel heat from a flame or from the sun on a sunny day. Heat causes many changes to the Earth. The second word is pressure. Like the force you use when you push on something or squeeze it. Pressure, or the force of weight, also causes many changes to the Earth. Time is the third important geology word to remember. To understand geology, you need to think about time in a whole new way. Forget about minutes, hours, and days. These amounts of time don't mean much in geology. Geologists think in terms of many, many years. Remember, the Earth has been around four and a half billion years. It takes a long time for pressure and heat to do what they do. The Grand Canyon, located in Arizona, Provides a lot of clues about the Earth's formation and history. It took millions of years for the rushing water in the river to carve through the rocks to make this canyon. No other place on Earth allows me to see and study so many different layers of rock at the same time. The rock on the upper rim of the Grand Canyon. Is estimated by some scientists to be about 230 million years old, whereas the rock layers at the very bottom of the canyon are estimated to have formed over 2 billion years ago. That rock is half as old as the Earth is believed to be. Remember, heat, pressure, and time are the main factors of geology. If you understand those three words, then you are ready to move ahead and learn many things about the history of the Earth.